On July 16, 1990, the island of Luzon in the Philippines was rocked by one of the most powerful and destructive earthquakes in the country's history. Measuring 7.7 on the Richter scale, the earthquake caused widespread devastation across several regions, killing over 1,600 people and leaving tens of thousands homeless. Known for the catastrophic collapse of buildings and infrastructure, including the tragic destruction of the Hyatt Terraces Hotel in Baguio, the Luzon earthquake is remembered as a defining moment that reshaped the country's approach to disaster preparedness and infrastructure safety. This narrative explores the events leading up to the earthquake, its immediate aftermath, and the long-term impact on the people and infrastructure of the Philippines. Luzon is the largest island in the Philippines and home to the nation's capital Manila, as well as numerous provinces, cities, and towns. The island lies along the Pacific Ring of Fire, an area known for its frequent seismic activity, including earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Earthquakes in this region are not uncommon, but the 1990 Luzon earthquake was one of the most significant in terms of magnitude, damage, and loss of life. In the years leading up to the earthquake, the Philippines experienced rapid urbanization and growth, particularly in Luzon's major cities like Baguio, Dagupan, and Cabanatuan. Many buildings and infrastructure in these areas had not been designed to withstand a large earthquake, a factor that contributed to the high level of destruction during the event. At 4.26 p.m. on July 16, 1990, Luzon was hit by a powerful earthquake. Its epicenter was located near the town of Rizal in Nueva Ecija, but the effects were felt across the island, including in Manila, Baguio, Cabanatuan, and Dagupan. The quake lasted for about 45 seconds but caused immense destruction in that short span of time. The earthquake generated ground shaking that led to the collapse of buildings, bridges, and roads. Landslides were triggered in mountainous areas, and entire communities were buried under tons of earth. Baguio City, a popular tourist destination known for its cool climate and scenic landscapes, was one of the hardest hit areas. The iconic Hyatt Terraces Hotel in Baguio, a popular tourist spot, collapsed, trapping and killing many people inside. Hospitals, schools, and residential buildings were also severely damaged. In the province of Nueva Ecija, the Christian College of the Philippines in Cabanatuan collapsed, killing over a hundred students and teachers. In Dagupan, the earthquake caused liquefaction, a phenomenon where the ground behaves like a liquid, leading to the sinking and tilting of buildings. Major bridges, highways, and transportation routes were also severely damaged, cutting off access to several towns and cities and making rescue efforts more difficult. In the immediate aftermath of the earthquake, the devastation was overwhelming. Rescue operations were hindered by the widespread destruction of infrastructure, including roads and communication lines. Baguio City was almost completely cut off from the rest of the country, with landslides blocking the main highways leading to the city. Rescue teams, composed of military personnel, volunteers, and international aid workers, worked tirelessly to reach survivors trapped in the rubble of collapsed buildings. One of the most harrowing scenes was the rescue and recovery effort at the Hyatt Terraces Hotel, where hundreds of people had been inside when the building collapsed. Rescuers fought against time to pull survivors from the wreckage, but many people remained trapped under tons of concrete, and the death toll mounted. As the days passed, survivors were found in the rubble of collapsed buildings, but many more were not so fortunate. The scale of the disaster prompted an outpouring of support from both local and international communities. Humanitarian aid began to arrive in the form of food, water, medical supplies, and rescue equipment. Foreign governments, including the United States and Japan, 
sent aid teams to assist with rescue operations. Despite the best efforts of rescue teams, the challenges were immense. In many areas, access was limited due to landslides and damaged roads. The threat of aftershocks, some of which were quite strong, added to the danger faced by both rescuers and survivors. With homes destroyed and services disrupted, thousands of people were left homeless, forced to live in temporary shelters or makeshift camps. Amid the tragedy, there were stories of survival and heroism. In Baguio, local residents worked side by side with rescue teams, pulling survivors from collapsed buildings and providing shelter to those in need. Many people credited the swift community response with saving lives in the critical hours following the quake. The Luzon earthquake left a lasting mark on the Philippines, both in terms of the physical destruction it caused and the lessons it imparted about disaster preparedness. In the wake of the earthquake, the Philippine government faced immense challenges in rebuilding the affected areas. Entire towns and cities had to be rebuilt, and the need for better earthquake-resistant infrastructure became a priority. The disaster exposed weaknesses in the country's infrastructure and building codes, leading to widespread calls for reform. In the years following the earthquake, the Philippine government implemented stricter building regulations to ensure that new structures could better withstand seismic activity. These reforms aimed to prevent the kind of catastrophic building collapses that had claimed so many lives in 1990. For the survivors and families of the victims, the emotional toll of the earthquake was immense. Many had lost loved ones, homes, and livelihoods in the disaster. However, the resilience of the affected communities was evident in the way people came together to rebuild their lives. International aid and local relief efforts played a crucial role in the recovery process, helping to restore some sense of normalcy to the region in the months and years that followed. The Luzon earthquake also led to greater public awareness about earthquake safety and preparedness. Educational campaigns were launched to teach people how to respond during earthquakes and how to prepare their homes for future seismic events. The quake served as a sobering reminder that the Philippines, sitting on the Pacific Ring of Fire, would continue to face the threat of earthquakes, and preparedness was essential for minimizing future casualties. The 1990 Luzon earthquake was one of the most devastating natural disasters in Philippine history, leaving a trail of destruction and loss in its wake. However, it also prompted important changes in the country's approach to disaster preparedness and infrastructure resilience. The lessons learned from this tragedy have shaped the way the Philippines prepares for future earthquakes, ensuring that communities are better equipped to withstand the next major seismic event. The memory of the Luzon earthquake remains a powerful reminder of both the destructive power of nature and the resilience of the human spirit in the face of disaster.